guys, it is Aoife from Fred Weezy Died Laughing and I'm here with a video that is not just a weekly wrap up, yay! Um, so I just wanted to show you guys what books I've had out from the library. This is my, my May library haul, I've actually had these books since May. I have renewed them, I have read some of them, I just haven't brought them back yet. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys what I have. So I have already talked with some of these books in my weekly wrap up, where, but there are others that I have yet to read. Um, so the first one that I have here is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. This is the second book in the Six of Crows duology um, and I just finished that this yesterday um, and I really really enjoyed it and I'll be talking about this one in my weekly wrap up this week um, but yeah I loved this one and yeah I recommend people picking it up if they haven't already. The next book I got was The Lonely Heart Hotel by Heather O'Neill um, and this is one that I talked about last week and I just absolutely adore this one. This one was a five star book for me um, and I just love the cover of this one. It's really gorgeous. Um, I picked this one up because it was on the uh, the shortlist for the Bailey's uh, Women's Prize for fiction um, and I wanted to read as much of those books as I could so that was one of the main reasons I picked this one up but I also heard really good things about it um, and they proved to be true. Another book I read was Strange Heart Beating by um, Ellie Goldstone and this one is one that I just kind of saw on a few people's channel and to be honest the cover of this really intrigued me. This one is a really short book as you've seen I have talked about this one as well so I will link my wrap up where I had to talk about this one um, up above somewhere or down below um, and yeah I just this cover is just amazing. The next book I got from the library, which I've already talked about a couple of weeks ago, was Happy Mom, Happy Baby by Giovanna Fletcher. Um, I just happened to spot this um, up near the uh, counter when I was returning my old books and I just picked it up because I knew eventually I did want to read it. I really loved G and I did end up really enjoying this book, even though not everything could um, was really relatable to me as I don't, obviously don't have children and don't plan on having children anytime soon. Um, but I just did love G's humour and just her voice that came across because it's so like her YouTube channel and I just loved hearing her talk about her family and how she was dealing and how she deals with the pressures of motherhood and uh, being a woman in the public eye and a mother in the public eye and stuff like that so I really enjoyed all of that. And then the last three books are books I haven't actually read yet and the first one is The Blind Astronomer's Daughter by John Pipkin. Um, this is a book I think I originally saw on, I think it might have been Sophie Carlin's channel, um, but I can't quite remember, but I always remember whoever it was had got it and they their cover, um, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it properly, I'm sure if there's a glare, but there's all these constellations um, like kind of hidden almost in the backdrop of this cover um, and the one she had it was kind of shimmery. Um, it's not quite so much with this one because it's covered, um, but this one just sounds really good. It's about a girl, I think her, uh, her father kills herself, I think, um, or he dies kind of being lost in his own kind of science experiments. He feels like he's failed, um, something to do with astronomy, obviously, um, and I think she kind of takes it up afterwards and realises that there's some things that he might have discovered um, or something along those lines. Um, I'm not really sure, but something to do with... Her like building a powerful telescope and finding a secret and stuff like that so um i just think it sounds really good i think the cover is beautiful and i do really want to read it the next book i have here is the comets comet seekers by helen sedgwick this one is um one that i've literally wanted to read ever since i saw it like appear in the shops i am um, and every time i've seen it in the shops i really wanted to buy it and i kept saying no 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 i'll just wait until i see it in the library and eventually i managed to see it in the library and i picked it up um, this is to do with a comet, obviously, and two different people um, who each see this comet and I think it's just how maybe their lives intertwine or entangle or something or how they're like related to each other. Um, and I don't know, there's just something about this book that has always really appealed to me and I've never even actually known that much about it. Um, I think it's just between the, the, the title and the cover and everything, um, I've just always wanted to pick it up. And the last book I have here is Saint's Blood by Sebastian de Castell. This is the third book in the Great Coats um, uh, series that he writes, um, and I've absolutely adored the first two, so I cannot wait to get to this one. And then the f fourth one is out at the moment, which I do believe is the last one. Um, so there's part of me that doesn't want to read them because I don't want them to end, um, but I also really want to see what happens in the story. So I'm looking forward to getting um, a hold of it, uh, finally getting to pick this one up and reading it. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the covers are always really cool because they always like hide battle scenes in the clothes and um, so I'm not sure if you can see the battle scene there inside the woman's dress um, but they always do that with all the covers and I just think it's really cool. Um, so yeah, so those are all the books I have out at the moment um, and probably some of these you'll see me talk about again in the next few weeks as I, as I pick them up, the last three. Um, and yeah, so please let me know uh, if you guys have any interesting books out from the library, if you've read any of these ones, if you want to read them um, and I will see you guys again next time.